Hello everyone, it's Mizak here, welcome back to another video and welcome to part 2 of the Dean Forest Railway review. In the last episode we got the Panya tank to go down to the end of the line where we met up with the Small Prey 4555 and we'll be taking the freight train up uh, through our original route and then going up the hill where we'll meet no wait and then we'll drag uh, four sets of coaches out into the platform and attach the uh, locomotive to that and that would be the plan um, at the end of the review I will give my overall thoughts of it of how it looks would I recommend it um, and then we'll leave it from there so welcome to part two let's get into it so in the last part we got up to here so we were driving 1368 the panya tank to the end of the line and then we've got another set of coaches Ooh, very nice all right i'll use that in, a, in a, another video so uh we've got this one here and then we've got the 45 and obviously we've got the class 14 which I did add all the links down in the description below but for part 2 I will be re removing some links uh, for this part and then adding in some new ones not really much difference it's just going to be a little bit more um, that's all really it's because we're, we're moving away from the main part of the locomotives and Moving more on to a diesel and something else. We'll do that as the head code for um, shunting or taking a shunt train or freight train. Let's do that. Uh, and we'll put you onto the main part and then we will up to the platform there we go that is correct okay let's get you to into running have i got a signal yes i do So that's quite nice actually, you get um, two little trun signals, I guess one for the loop and one for the platform. So actually, that one should be for the platform. Ah, I reckon that second one would have been for this line, but that doesn't currently exist, so that's alright. Nice signal box that's lit up. That's actually nicely done. Where is the lights on this one? Somewhere around there. And I quite like it actually. It looks beautiful. Onto this road, you've got a nice double barrier with, as I say previously, a modern road. And then obviously we've got into an older one which then leads to the roundabout and you're on to the next part which is another level crossing well i hope you guys will enjoy the next part of this review and um we'll see you when we get onto the new parts of the track
We are now coming up to the next part of the route. So previously this little signal would have gone to the lower part and this would have gone to the next part of the route. Now we are sort of back on a uh, track, uh, excuse the pun. <laughs> um, so this is where we go slightly differently. So instead of going around where we started uh, previously, uh, this time we'll be going up to the main part. So uh, Norchard high level, because previously we were on Norchard low level. So um, this time we'll be going up the hill right to the top of the route. If we were to watch here, and I'm, the one thing I absolutely love that they've done with this um, route is that they've mastered signals to be with the stop board. So um, that's actually really nice. That's the one thing I absolutely love. Well, I love several things about this route, but the really good thing is that they've put the signals with the sign, which looks pretty awesome, may I say. So let's have a look at the steep uh, gradients. That's a 1 in 99. That's not too bad. I don't think I've seen this in texture and platforms before, but there we go. They've got some nice GWR signs. They've got some nice lamps and nice way out sign. And a very nice building, which I presume is a pagoda. Uh, detailed sign, which is very nice. They look custom assets, so someone must have built them themselves. Unless it's a... yeah, must be. And then do not walk across this along the railway track. Yeah, basically don't go over. Again, oh, hello workers. Uh, again, I've got some missing pieces here. I'm not quite sure what I'm missing, but I will have a look. And here we come, coming up the hill. Sounds wonderful. Absolutely love it. So we've got a foot crossing coming up. Again, we probably go should go a little bit slower over that. Let's have a look closer. So you've got a nice little pathway going into the forest. I presume you can then have a look overlooking the train. Got like a nice little ramp, obviously. Goes down to the river. So we now are coming into the valley. Yeah, I'd say it's a valley. It's very nice. So you've got a main road, goes to a little site, goes to the car park, and then you've got the valley. And then obviously we've got foot crossing coming into it. And through a tree. And then obviously you've got some really nice details here. Got like an old bridge castle thing. So you've got some old scenic buildings in the forest, which is really nice. So you've got like the main part of the town and other stuff, and then the second part's like in a foresty area, and then obviously you'll come to the town later on, but I like how it's very different. Each route is very unique. That's what I found out. I keep forgetting about that 15 miles an hour. That doesn't really matter.
nice little crossing coming towards pieces of track beautifully done obviously this is the sort of town I was mentioning so this is the first of two other stops I believe along this railway so yeah you got the high and uh, Nordchard higher level then you got this one and the end one where we're meeting the 08 I believe Turn into a nice leap and you got a nice little brake van. That's nice, that's nice scenery. Then got more milk bottles and you got a nice different level crossing. Turn into a nice town. Again you got a newer road and an old road. Which is really nice. Oh, and the road goes along. Oh, very nice. So it goes through something different. Obviously the river still continues and it comes to a stop. And got a nice platform. Might as well just get a screenshot over here. Whistle before proceeding. Now, do we have the all clear? Yes, we do. And then Park End, which is how I described it being the first 200 yards, I believe. So. If you remember from part one, I was I was reading out on the website that Park End was the original um, first passenger on the line. So it went from Park End and I presume it just went up to around here and then would have stopped originally. And so later on in the, uh, in over the years, they would have built this to be um, going all the way down to Nortred, uh, higher level and lower level and then all along to the end so yeah park end was the first station to be well the first original stop along the line so that makes more sense anyway let's get going Yep, there we go. Going through each other. That's fun. <laughs> um, so we've got some nice other houses. Again, we're coming out of the town. And over another foot crossing. And then back into the forest. Right, so we're carrying on through the forest and then we'll uh, see you in just a bit.
And there we go. We're finally into the platform. And we've got a four set coach waiting for us, which we will connect up to in just a minute. right up to the signal. Nicely done. Take a screenshot again, I think. Well, first of all, let's put you into the other platform and then we'll... Um, see how this goes. So, uh, welcome to Park End. This is the Park End signal box. <laughs> they covered up my head. That's clever. Just look. Yeah, you just look. This is my head. There we go. Yeah, for this, it's nicely done. Very nicely done. Anyway, they got a nice building. They got some nice patterns. Honestly, they've got some really good assets in this route. I mean, again, you come into a lovely town.
so there we go that will be the end of our review so i hope you have all enjoyed today's um episode uh my total thoughts on the railway is it's very detailed there's lovely pieces of sceneries different assets have been used honestly it's really lovely and i would review it as a eight and a half out of ten that would be my total honesty i absolutely love it um would i also recommend it to people uh yes i would highly recommend it definitely this can be found on the alan thompson uh alan thompson sim uh website which will be linked down in the description below so thank you very much everyone for watching i hope you have all enjoyed it please do subscribe to the channel also click the notification bell to be the first ones notified on any new videos live streams or updates that are upcoming for this year and if you have enjoyed this please do give it a like uh, all my social media will be linked down in the description below where i'll be posting uh, my editing my also some live streams coming up as well uh, by the way thank you for 200 followers on instagram and 41 followers on tiktok that's absolutely amazing and it means so much to me uh thank you for watching everyone and we will see you in episode two which will be reviewing a br locomotive <laughs>